Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel A Twist of Gem. Today I am doing a recipe for vegetarian egg rolls. This is a great appetizer. You can switch up the fillings and do whatever veggies and meats you like. These egg rolls are crunchy, tasty, and are great for any party or just yourself. I had about four of these when they were done. They are that good. Let's get to it. For this recipe, you will need green onions, bean sprouts, white mushrooms, sriracha, shredded red cabbage, shredded carrots, soy sauce, onion powder, garlic powder, turmeric, red pepper flakes, paprika, garlic, egg roll wrappers, tandoori masala seasoning, cumin, and salt and pepper. I forgot to add the soy sauce to my mixture, so if you want to leave it out, you can. Start by cleaning the mushrooms. Take a paper towel or a kitchen towel and wet it and wipe the mushroom tops and stems. Remove the stems and chop the stems and the tops. Chop the green onion and reserve some to top the egg rolls when they are done. Chop the garlic. In a large skillet on medium high heat, add some oil and about one tablespoon of sriracha. Then add the garlic and cook for a minute.
then add the green onion, mushrooms, bean sprouts, carrots, red cabbage, and the seasonings, and cook for about five minutes. Then remove the vegetables and place them in a bowl to cool down. While the vegetables are cooling, you can make a dipping sauce for the egg rolls. You will need 1 fourth cup of fish sauce, 1 fourth cup of rice vinegar, 1 and a half teaspoon of chili garlic sauce, 1 fourth cup of sugar, one fourth cup of vinegar, half a cup of water, and two garlic cloves smashed. Now looking back at the recipe and what I actually did, I see where I went wrong. The sauce only called for one fourth teaspoon of fish sauce but I did one fourth cup of fish sauce. It still came out good, but if you do the one fourth teaspoon of fish sauce, then the sauce should come out thicker. Mine was more liquid. Combine all the ingredients into a small saucepan and bring to a simmer. Once the sauce simmers, Reduce the heat and cook for 15 minutes. If after 15 minutes you want the sauce to get a little thicker, continue to cook the sauce until your desired thickness. Remove the sauce from the heat and cool. This will last in the fridge for five days in an airtight container.
Now back to the egg rolls. The first few egg rolls I rolled, I didn't get the classic shape. I had to go and re-watch a video on how to roll them properly. But you will need a glue to seal the egg rolls. Take some cornstarch and mix it with water to get a paste consistency. And that is what you will use to seal the egg rolls. To get the classic egg roll shape, place the egg roll wrapper so that one corner is pointing north and the other south, or like how a parallelogram looks, but turn it on its side, and place about a tablespoon of mixture towards the bottom. Then fold the left and right sides into the center bring the bottom corner up and tightly roll away from you when you get to the other corner apply some of the cornstarch glue and continue to roll the rest of the egg rolls until you run out of filling Add some oil in a medium sized skillet and place on medium high heat. When the oil is hot, add the egg rolls a few at a time and pan fry. These don't take long to fry. You want to cook them until they are golden brown on both sides. It will take about five minutes or more. Once done, place the egg rolls on some paper towels to drain the oil, then place the dipping sauce in a small bowl and garnish the egg rolls with some of the green onions and serve while hot. This is really a great appetizer for family, friends, or just you. The egg roll wrappers get really crispy and the filling on the inside is seasoned well and there is still some crunch from the vegetables since I didn't cook them that long. You can add some cooked chicken or shrimp to the filling and make it for those who eat meat and the flavor and seasoning combinations are endless. Let me know what do you like in your egg rolls and have you ever made them before? Until the next time, roll up and enjoy. <laughs> Peace from a twist of gem.
Here's some fun facts about egg rolls. The origins of egg rolls are unclear and remain disputed. Egg rolls are closely related to but distinct from spring rolls served in mainland China. Egg rolls were first seen in the early 20th century in the United States. Where to get the best egg rolls? One place recommended is Red Farm at 529 Hudson Street in New York, where they do a classic twist on the egg roll and fill it with pastrami. But Red Farm has some competition over on 17 Mott Street. They say, whoa hop has the fire egg rolls that they are chocked full of goodness and served with a sweet duck sauce and a sinus clearing Chinese mustard. India Eat Mania, a street shop in Calcutta, claims to make the biggest chicken egg roll measuring 26 inches. Want to know where to find one of the most expensive egg rolls? It's in Los Angeles. Chef Jack Lee Catering Agency prices it at $100. It's a lobster egg roll that includes Maine lobster tail, Alaskan king crab, summer black truffle, and Nagaimo which is a mountain yam, baby carrots, and wild baby taro root. It's topped with a crown of caviar and gold leaf. Also with a fresh raspberry in 2009, Dry Creek Sauvignon Blanc Reduction Dipping Sauce.